Right, now let me teach you about this data type that you've seen before called lists. So earlier in this course, you saw that we had this variable called cars equal to, and then we had square brackets. So this is a list that you can store more than one value. So the difference here between, so for example, if I say car equals to, and then B M W, right? So the difference between this variable and this variable is that the data type for cars is a list. So if I put the, the cursor there, you can see that it's a list. And what this means is that we can store more than one value. Whereas in, in this variable, which is a string, I can only store BMW, right? I can only store a sequence of characters. So let me delete this. So here, let's say that we have uh, three cars. So let's say that we have a BMW and then here, let's say comma, right? So after single quotes, comma, and then let's now say that we have a Tesla and comma, and let's finally say that we have a Mercedes here, right? So this variable cars is a list that has three items in it. So if I say print and then len, I can say len, so for length, and then I'm gonna pass cars inside and then run you can see that we have three items in it. So with lists, let's say that you want to access this first item here, so BMW. The way you do it is as follows. So I'm gonna say print and then cars, right? So if I actually save this and then run, you can see that this gives us a list. But what we want is to grab just the first element, the first item in it. So let's say print underneath. And then we're going to say cars and then add these square brackets. And then the way that you access this first element is by using an index. So with lists, the index starts from zero. So this is position zero, position one, position two, right? It's not position one, position two, and position three. When we work with computers, the numbering system always starts with zero. So in here, we want to say zero. So cars and then zero. So let's grab this line. Let's duplicate it two times. And then here, this will be one, or actually one, and then two. And then run. You can see that we have three items. This was the list itself. And then position zero, this was BMW. Position one, Tesla. Position two, and then Mercedes. If, for example, you want to access, so if I say print or not even print, I can just say cars and then let's try and access position three, right? So we know that we don't have a position three. So zero, one, and then two, right? We don't have a position three. So if I save this and then run, you can see that we have an error and the error says that list index out of range. So if I was to add a second or actually another car. So if I, for example, say Toyota, just like that. And here we can now say print. There we go. And there you go. You can see that we don't have any more errors and we are accessing the index number three, which, which contains the value of Toyota. So this is an introduction to lists 
in Python. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Otherwise, let's move on.